Mr. Eliasson, the European Union is struggling with the refugee crisis. From your global perspective, is Europe doing enough? Is Europe taking in enough refugees? Well, we know this is a huge challenge for European countries. But of course, you should also be aware that this is a global issue. We have uh, millions and millions of refugees and displaced people around the world. And we should be aware of the fact that most of the refugees and migrants in the world are living in uh, countries which are very poor. You have also tremendous pressure on countries like Lebanon, Turkey and Jordan. So we should keep in mind that the heaviest burden in terms of receiving refugees are in fact mostly neighboring countries to crisis areas. We hope very much that we will have more of a unified European Union position on migration. We hope also that we will develop much more of legal pathways and a structure which uh, makes it possible that we avoid these horrible tragedies of people drowning in the Mediterranean. With the refugee crisis in the EU comes also the rise of right-wing populist, mostly xenophobic parties in the EU. Um, are you somehow worried about the state of the Union, given the fact there's a, also a trend of re-nationalization, re and also the UK is considering even an exit? Uh, How is the Union doing? Yes, I, I'm worried about uh, the trend that we have seen, not only in Europe, but also in other parts of the world, to see uh, refugees and migrants as a problem, and not as a possibility and a potential. We have a rather negative narrative about uh, migration and refugees, particularly if there is attempts to see it also in connection with terrorism. Uh, and I, who have been in this area for so long, I know what conditions they are fleeing from. And for them now to be associated in some cases with terrorism is, of course, tremendously damaging. I know the public opinion situation in Europe. I was foreign minister of Sweden, so I know what the mood is in the, in the world, but I think We need to come back to a more, I would say, even a neutral narrative, even positive narrative about migrants and refugees. You know, economic growth will be very much dependent on migrants' contributions to our societies. Demographic growth, population growth, uh, would stop if we don't have uh, migrants uh, coming into our countries. And, you know, the remittances, the money that the uh, migrant workers and refugee workers Uh, sent back to their own countries are twice as big as the whole official development assistance in the world. And then on a personal note, let me say also that we have to come back to the realization of the beauty of diversity, that we in our nation states have different cultures, different people, different background, and that provides uh, the health and vitality of any society. I think there is a need for this conference that we plan in New York on the 19th of September to send that message that we need to correct that negative narrative into a more positive narrative. But I know that in situations where people feel fear, and if there is anything I fear, it's fear, fear itself. When you have a sense of being scared, then you very easily look for easy, easy short-term solutions. They don't work. They don't work. We can only work find solutions if we work together and that when we accept diversity. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Eliasson.